I say about it. That's all I gotta say about it. Yeah, for like a cup of water being thrown in your face, you know. Yeah. I mean, people were throwing ashtrays, yeah. well, uh, cans of beer, there were bullets on the stage, knives, all kinds of shit. And we were like, fucking hit it. Hit, hit the stage, you know, do the fucking show. And I love it. I absorb, when I'm on stage, I absorb the violence from the crowd. I love that. That's what makes me even more brutal than normally on stage. That's what I miss so much in the USA. I expect it to be every crowd in every town that violent and that aggressive, that brutal, as it was tonight. So what, what happened was <clears throat> kind of logical. <clears throat> because the band quits the show, people paid a lot of money. And it tear the whole place apart. That's, that's normal. What was it, 22 cop cars? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I saw a lot of cops. You know. But I'm with, I mean, and the problem is, <clears throat> they blame the whole shit at the fans. They blame the fans for it. And I don't... They, they don't even are the ones to blame. Just because they found bullets on the floor and knives oh, and shit? Oh, no way. No way. It was because uh, a band who was thinking that the crowd was too violent for their kind of music, which is a normal crowd in Europe. It is a normal crowd. And they wanted their money back. They wanted to see that band. They wanted to, they want that band to return on the stage and they don't. So what the fuck are they gonna do? They're gonna fuck the whole place apart. And that's a logical explanation. And that's it. And then, you know, people start calling the cops because they don't know what else to do. Cops show up, fans are the ones to blame. So they go to jail. So they go to jail, yeah. Well, actually, they should go to the fucking band who did it. If they went back on stage, and if they, if, they, if they did the whole show, nothing would have happened. Nothing. It's very That's what rare. I'm trying to tell. Yeah. Very rare to have a show down here. The, I've been to all, you know, underground death metal shows, and, you know, it's... Uh, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not trying to... But I've only seen maybe two or three fights, you know, since all, you know, that's a lot of, a lot of metal shows, you know, but, uh, so how many more dates on the, the tour? What? In the U.S. are on two days. <coughs> then off San Antonio on four. And people tell us, they told me, that San Antonio is even good. It's going to be more worse than Houston is. Fuck yeah. So uh, I said, like, well, that's cool. I like that. You know, that's cool. What I'm looking forward to. That. Uh, yeah. In San Antonio, it's probably more. It'll be more of a big place to play. More people. You know, it'll be a lot more crazy for sure. <clears throat> Yeah, I've been to a lot of out of town shows, yeah. especially with y'all. Went to California and shit, and Texas. Nobody can compare it to Texas with the crowd response. This is crazy. But LA, I, there, was, there, was, there, was, there was there was there was there was this uh, there was this whole yeah. I mean, I told somebody before in the stage. We went to LA. There were fifteen hundred people. The whole shit was packed, and people were like, you know, they stood and watched, you know. And you came here tonight and like, eh, finally you see people fucking diving, you see slamming, you see uh, marshes, divers, what the fuck do I know what the hell is going on in this music, but you see all these kind of people that are into the music and they do what they want to do. You know, and, and the security doesn't even mind, you know, they say like, huh, this is normal for this place, this is pretty normal. And they say like, huh, no big deal, you know, they throw people back into the audience, they don't even beat them up, and that was cool. But tonight, you know, it was the biggest gig, in, of not the biggest, it was, it was one of the smallest venues we played. Not one, not one of the smallest, it was one of the small venues we played, but it was like, kind of feeling home again. Because it was so violent, and so brutal. And that's exactly what we expect from the people when they come, when they show up. We, we play a brutal show just to enjoy the fans. And they enjoy themselves for being brutal to us. It's like a kind of, it's a kind of feedback. You know what I mean? I give them violence on the stage; they give violence back to me when they are, you know, in the crowd. And that's what I think that the whole kind of music that we play, you know, what it's all about. That's what I like. Do any, uh, do you have any kind of? 
favorite horror movies that you like? You know, like oh, fucking lots of. Do they inspire you I, in I, music in a way, or or is it just? Mm, no, not directly. Okay. It's like uh, of course, the music is is a little so pretty bloody, and music is just good. But you know, the mu movies I like personally are you know the Italian stuff, like Fulci, Romero, Argento, all that stuff. Uh, name all the movies. Yeah, I just like that, you know, especially the Argento, the guy is so fucking brutal, you can't imagine, it's like, he cuts an arm, there's this killer, you know, with a fucking axe, it's a movie called Tenebra, I don't know if you ever saw it, there's a guy with an axe, enters the house, there's a woman sitting on a, on a kitchen table, the axe flows through the fucking window, cuts the arm off of the woman, the cops want a word with him after what? The cops want a word with him. Well, they're fucking letting. I'm gonna beat him up. It is it's your fault, you know? man. You my yeah. fault! Yeah? You bloody uh, started it all. Let's get it from Carcass. You incited all the violence. Oh, yeah. I you did. did. No, you did. I saw it. Alright, hello. Okay. So, so what's the story about axes? I heard oh, yeah. oh, yeah. so you. Guy, so, this guy comes up to the house. Yeah. Comes with it, see this, see this woman at the kitchen table, smashes his axe through the window, cuts her fucking arm off, her arm, and you know, the whole thing is like on the table. Then he comes in, takes her by the hand, see the glass standing up in the window, and <laughs> smashes the head in it. You know, and I was like, whoa! You know, you, you feel the pain, you feel that. You see all the blood fucking splattering everywhere. So you're like, oh, is this guy brutal or what? I don't know. I don't know if these movies are movies are available in the states, but that's that's the director I love the most, Argento. Sometimes they're hard to get. Um, are they? When you saw, was it unedited? Was it a video, or did you go to the movies and?